I, I honestly, I'm feeling like there's a person out here who's um, really sorry for how they treated you, right? They've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of crying. I feel like this is your person's energy, right? Um, ashamed, sad, remorseful, thinking of a creative way to um, express themselves, all right? So they don't know how to come forward towards you, but they definitely don't want this over. And they're, I feel like they really want to apologize here. They're in a lot of regret, okay? Um, their creativity may even be blocked at this time because of the, uh, th this is like really sad emotions here, right? Um, and they're happy, but I feel like with, uh, they're just emotionally overwhelmed right now. Uh, they really are. They, they can't quite seem to get their balance here emotionally, okay? Their creativity is blocked. They can't think straight. This person can't think straight. Um, they're in a lot of regret, a lot of sorrow. They want their happiness. They're ashamed. They're, they're humiliated, feeling disgraced. Um, they're ashamed of themselves. And they're worried um, that you're going to get with somebody new. So this person is having a really hard time balancing out their emotions. Okay? They're very overwhelmed emotionally. You see what I'm saying? They're going through a lot. They're really just going through it right now. And I feel like this person is watching, kind of watching your every move. This is somebody who could even be like driving past your house, um, peeping in your windows as, you know, from a distance from the street, something like that. I don't think anybody's like peeping in your windows, but... This person is keeping very close track of you, Collective, wanting to know if you're with somebody else. That, that's driving them crazy, too. That's adding um, to the, the, the overwhelm, you know, being overwhelmed by emotion really is what this is. Um, discouraged. They don't think that, especially if you get with somebody else, they don't think they're going to be able to get a chance with you. So I'm feeling like this kind of rushed energy, too, knowing that they don't have a lot of time here um, to figure this out. They don't have a lot of time. They're feeling desperate, yeah. Desperate, yeah. In need, they have no ideas as to how to hang on to you, how to come towards you. Um, they don't think that it's going to work out, especially if you get with somebody new. That's not going to happen. They're having a hard time thinking clearly, thinking straight. Um, yeah, they may want to pop out at you here because they can't come up with a plan. If this person saw you out in the public, I feel like um, they may try to come up and talk to you because they really don't have a plan. I feel like they're desperate to see you. Okay? They're desperate to see you. Um Yeah, they're really going through it. It's like a roller coaster of emotions for this person. All right, and most of it is negative, you know? Empowered. Love. For some of you, what I'm getting here is, um, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling like there's a karmic here who's, who's worried sick that they're going to lose um, this person to you, okay? Because this, all this person is interested in is watching you, um, thinking about you, right? Feeling sad about you. Uh, I feel like uh, this could be a baby's mama. It's more like a friendship kind of thing, though. This person doesn't have any emotions for this per for the whoever they're with. But I feel like they're trying to... Um, control the situation here is really what I'm feeling like they're trying to control this masculine keep them where they are yeah because this masculine wants to be free thank you divine yes that's a confirmation um, the karmic is trying to maybe even trap your person with a baby some of them have gotten pregnant they may have feel uh, have felt like they won this or whatever that they have a victory in this that um, you know they got this right but no they're they're starting to worry here because they know that your person is in love with you 
and they want to free themselves. They want to liberate themselves from the situation. Um, escape from this cage. They're extremely stressed out wherever they are. I feel like this is the karmic energy. Very stressed out. They, they've uh, in this home situation, right? They've got a home situation with this masculine, and they know they're about to lose this masculine because this person is in love with you. And they know in this home situation, it's only a matter of time, man, before that tower moment happens. See that lightning bolt right outside their window. So uh, I feel like this is the car mix energy, super stressed, very stressed. It's a very tense situation for the car mix right now um, because they're about to lose their stability, okay? I feel like the stability came from this masculine, and the masculine wants to come towards you and be comforted. They want to come towards you. I kind of got that feeling, too, up in here, that you may be the only one that can help them sort out the, all of these emotions, okay? So I, I really get the sense that they want to come towards you for comfort. They're feeling lonely wherever they are. This person could be in a household full of people all the time and still feel lonely because they're not vibing at the same level as everybody else now. Okay, I feel like um, they've been awakened to a lot of things here, and they're, um, they're starting to vibe higher. Okay, whoever they're around, could, they could huddle around and talk about you or talk about other people. And I feel like your person just, they're isolating themselves or they just feel alone. They feel alone wherever they are, and I feel like that's why they want to come towards you. Because you would help them sort things out. You may have the answers this person needs to get their emotions into balance again. Um, they would feel very comforted with you, okay? I just feel like this person is, uh, they know they don't belong where they are anymore. It's the end of the cycle there. And I feel like um, we all grow every day. And your person, just they, they're not really realizing that they just don't belong with those people anymore. This could be friends, family, the karmic, whatever. Um, yeah, but these karmics are trying to like keep this person there. They're stressed out, man. And they could have a baby... And they're about to lose this masculine, and they're about to lose their stability, and they're very resentful about that. That's the karmic look, right? They're very resentful. Now, this is really interesting. Sorry, guys, I dropped this card on the floor. This is really interesting. This is your person's energy. I feel like the karmic is just, they're almost afraid of the person that they're with, this karmic. Okay, because look at how your masculine is like, they're feeling like such a child around this karmic individual, and it's because of this karmic's attitude. Okay, they're walking around resentful, worried, stressed out all the time, doing all they can to keep your person in this home situation that's about to crumble. Okay, and I feel like um, your person feels ashamed of themselves, uh, I feel like they're afraid to confront this karmic, okay? They're, they're very intimidated by whoever they're with right now. All right, let's see what we get. Just want to pull a few tarot, right? Yeah, this karmic is intimidating the crap out of them. Because um, they're angry, they're upset, because this person, they know this masculine is in love with you. They know. You know, even if this masculine was trying to hide it, they're walking around like this all day, every day, moping, sad, detaching. They're in the process of trying to, like, detach, I feel, from this karmic right now. On an emotional level they can feel that you know the karmics are threatened and really upset hermit energy here this person feels lost 
I feel like they, they just keep to themselves. That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here off of the hermit. Isolating themselves, right? Keeping to themselves, keeping it a secret too that they want to end this karmic situation. Cut it out with the Knight of Swords, speak their truth, and uh, have a new journey for themselves. They're trying to keep that a secret. They're keeping it to themselves, and I feel like it's really weighing on this person. It's really screwing with their emotions here. Um, they may feel like a, a complete fool, but I'm really seeing this as they're, they want to end things with this karmic, but they're keeping it on the down low. What else can you show me? But the karmic knows. I feel like they're just afraid to confront everything. They're afraid to talk to this karmic. Taking things to calmer waters here. I feel like that's you with you, collective. Yeah, I feel like they want to get, they want to, they want to end this and get you in this boat with them. End it with the karmic and come and get you. That's really what I'm seeing like here. Um, what I'm feeling like here, sorry. Uh, Queen of Wands energy, you could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Your person could be a Virgo, Aries, Scorpio. Yeah, but see, they're afraid to confront the karmic. What did I say? In order to end this, they've got to take responsibility for the things that they said and the, and did. And they need to take responsibility for the things that they want. They have to speak the truth and tell this karmic what they want. And I feel like that's the part that they're afraid to do. Okay? Because this karmic is resentful and stressed out and possibly even volatile. All right. What else can you show me? Yeah. Man, this is what they did to you, okay? This person came in, told you that you were the one that they wanted, that they wanted to, that you were the one they wanted to build with, be with, okay? Grow with, right? But, you know, in all actuality, this person was in and out. They weren't serious about you at all. They played little freaking games. They withheld love from you. They didn't tell you, show you any kind of emotion at all, right? Um, and then they sat here. They sat here and they waited to talk to you. They, were, they waited for you to talk to them, I mean. And uh, I feel like they did this with a lot of people. I feel like they had other options around them that wanted them. But they decided to give you this wand and this wreath, right? Make empty promises, okay, and sit you on a shelf like an option while they sat here smug, snickering about it because it fed their ego to have people hurt over them and it fed their ego to have people chase them. And you don't get to do that with another human being. I'm sorry, cross watchers, but you don't. It's wrong because you know what it does? It puts you in a mental mind trap collective. That's what this person did to you. They had you stuck in your mind. Like, am I going to hear from this person again? Are they going to come back? What the heck is going on? Was I just used? But they told me that it was me that they wanted. But was I just used? You know what I mean? Well, during that time, you worked on you. Okay? You didn't go chasing after this person. You didn't feed their ego. You starved their ego. Okay? And, uh, and you fed yourself. You, you grew, you healed, you put in the effort, and you decided to get creative. You took that pain, confusion, and heartache, and you, put, you turned it into something that's like gold for you. Okay? A lot of abundance, something solid, right? You turned that pain into um, something precious, all right? Um, now you're at the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, you could be a boss, business owner, entrepreneur, doing something creative that you're nurturing that's becoming very abundant. The most pentacles you can have in the deck is ten. You're a single person out here with nine. All for you. 
The only thing you don't have here is that last pentacle. That stands for a soulmate connection that you can build to last the test of time. That would be, that would make your 10th pentacle, okay? And at that point, you're growing empires, man. You're already on your way. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is what they did to you. Now I feel like um, they're in a lot of regret. I feel like they're very respectful of your accomplishments. I feel like when this person thinks of you, they think about the pain that they caused you. Otherwise, it wouldn't be out here. Okay? And they think about how far you've come from where they had you. And it's amazing. And I feel like that's why this person wants to take this leap of faith and come towards you and have a new beginning with you. That's why their head is all effed up. That's why their emotions are just way out of whack, right? That's why they're watching you, wondering if you're with somebody else. And that is why this person is in love with you. Okay, uh, all of this. This is what they did. They totally played you, and this person knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. It was a game. They wanted some fun. They have came in saying, oh, this is for real, right? This is, I want you. I'm going to choose you. But this was, they were not serious. They were not serious, and they knew exactly what they were doing. Now you're this person's wish fulfillment, the one that they kept trapped and stuck in their mind. And yeah, in your mind. But they've waited too long. They've kept their back turned for far too long. Um, and I, they, they don't really know, I don't think, how you feel about them anymore. I feel like your feelings have changed. There's no emotion left here. That lake bed is completely dried up. I feel like they stood here and waited for you to contact them, chase them, feed this ego, and you didn't. You starved it instead, and you fed yourself. That's what you did. Now this person can't let you go, okay? They can't stop thinking about having a new beginning with you. They're scared. They're guarding their heart. They're afraid that um, they're going to get hurt, right? They, they don't know how you're going to accept um communication they're worried about you rejecting them uh, and they've juggled you for far too long they really procrastinated on that on making a decision but yeah I feel like this person is about to reach out to you man expect some communication something simple something small because they're scared they're this is a, this person's afraid and they don't they're not emotionally balanced right now okay um, so this is going to be small communication, all right, collective. It's going to be like, hey, it's been a long time since we talked. Can we talk, right? That's about it because this person wants ultimate wish fulfillment with you, with their empress. They want this, and they're going to tell you this. I feel if you give them a chance. They don't know if you'll even give them a chance to talk, but they're in a lot of regret. Okay, a lot of regret. I, I want to know about this resentful karmic. What's going to happen with the karmic, please? They're resentful of you, star energy. They may want to heal this with this person, but, uh, they, you know, look. Look at that puss on their face, right? Um, they may want to heal this, but I don't know. I, I feel like they just like feeling upset. You know, some people, they get in that, I'm just upset all the time. I'm just going to be angry. Um, they could be doing things to your, you know, like um, yelling at them, right? Or shaming them, making them feel unworthy. Some, If somebody's hurt bad enough or is worried that they're losing somebody bad enough, they may lash out in this way. And I, equally, I feel like they're upset with you here. Both healing cards, though, I feel like um, you're out here in the public eye. I really feel like this is your energy with the star. Yeah, they're upset because this, this masculine wants to give to you now. Now, 
roles are reversed. See, I feel like in the beginning when this person met you, they decided to give to the karmic instead of you. They probably thought that you were going through struggles and didn't really have enough to bring to the table, right? Now I feel like it's reversed. Now this the karmic is resentful because this masculine wants to give to you. And that's going to leave this karmic out in the cold, in financial trouble. Their stability will be taken away. They'll end up empty-handed. That's what this karmic is worried about. Okay, I feel like um, they're constantly trying to keep this person in the situation. I think that's how they consider healing, right? It's not really healing, though. They're kind of just acting like a, a guard, right? Guarding over their home situation, guarding over this masculine, right? That's really all that it is. It, it just feels like a guard, okay? Um, but you're you're getting away here. You're moving forward. You can be an you could be an Aquarius, a Cancer, um, and now I feel like this person wants to invest in you. Yeah, see, everything's completely flopped. They know who it is that they want. You could be dealing with um, a Pisces. I've got Virgo, Aries, Scorpio out here. Um, heavy on Virgo. Sagittarius as well. You could be a Cancer, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What's this? High Priestess Energy. I feel like that's you, Collective. Uh, you're not talking. You're not speaking. You don't have anything to do with these people. You're really focused on your spiritual path and... You're just using your intuition. You're, you're not talking. I feel like you know all of this is kind of going on in the background, okay? There could be some secrets, too, um, that may come out. These, Remember when I said I, I, sometimes when a person is resentful enough, it's they enjoy being mean to the other people, person, right? Um, and I feel like that's what this is going to become. If this person goes to you and invests in you instead, I feel like they're going to be uh, telling all the secrets of this masculine. That's the plan. They're just going to tell everything to the community about this masculine. Clarified judgment and high priestess. Secrets are going to be coming out here, one way or another. Clarify the High Priestess and Judgment. I feel like this person may want to get married. Perhaps they already did and you don't know about it. They may go towards you and tell you that they're married. Yeah, with the Eight of Wands, they could. And I feel like your person knows this. And it's stressing them out. This karmic wants to come towards you, collective, and tell you something about the situation. They could come towards you and say, you know, something like, back off, collective. I'm married to this person. They could tell you a bunch of other secrets about them, and it's got your person now stressed out. Stressed out. It's like, oh my gosh, they're going to go to the collective and tell all of this stuff to, yeah. So this resentful karmic may want to confront you, collective, okay? You may hear some things. Um, they may even post some things on social media yeah, so now, uh, okay, yeah, I feel like um, I feel like there's a masculine energy that wants to take some kind of action. They want to sneak out. This is to me is sneaking out, going. This is uh, something impulsive, right? Out of anger, right? Sneak out, wanting to talk, wanting to say something. I feel like they're trying to sneak out to like get to you before this karmic does. To be honest with you, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Yeah, they want to get to you before this karmic does. Ooh, 
collective it's getting hot i'm telling you yeah so um yeah because otherwise this connection is gonna be sabotaged otherwise there will be sabotage and i feel like this is the karmic and yeah your person knowing that the karmic wants to come in and talk to you send you a bunch of messages come towards you collective now this person this masculine wants to like jump on this they're like there's no time to waste right they're really upset they know they've got to tell you the truth in and out energy i feel like they're sneaking away from the karmic to come and talk to you and tell you about the sabotage ahead of time yeah otherwise they're gonna lose this they're gonna miss this opportunity yep they're going to miss this opportunity if they don't if they don't take a chance to apologize to you, right? If the karmic gets to you first, they're going to be heartbroken. This new beginning is going to be sabotaged and they're going to miss their opportunity with you. They've got to reach you with an apology and tell you what's going on first. There may even be a divorce that's going to be coming up for these two. Yeah, so something you're going to get, com uh, um, you're going to get communication either from this masculine or the karmic. I feel like it's both. I feel like, I feel like you're going to start, there's going to be a lot of messages that are going to start coming in. It's right here. I feel like the karmic just wants to open up on you now and and kind of um, sad, like backstab your person at the same time. They're very resentful. They don't care. They just don't want to lose their stability at this point. It's not even about love anymore. It's about their stability and just they don't want to lose, you know, trying to win at all costs kind of thing, right? I let my ego get in our way. I couldn't let go of my pride, but you saw through me. You know the truth about me. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. I wish I could take back the hurtful things I said. It was wrong to take out my frustrations on you. I'm haunted by us. I didn't follow my heart, and now I don't know how to let you go. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Didn't I just talk about that a little bit ago? Do you still want me? We talked about that, too, that you may not feel the same. You were my best friend, and I cherished our friendship above all others. Yeah. Yeah. And the last one, I, I kept up a facade to the world. Uh, but you always saw past that into my soul. So, yeah, I feel like this person was fake in this relationship. I feel like they still are. Um, but people are seeing past that. I think it's not just you. It's a karmic. Okay? Uh, at this point, you know, let's just face it. The secret's out. <laughs> we all know... Uh, kind of how your person is feeling and how the karmic is feeling. Okay, so yeah.